The day I touched down in France, man, I was haggard. I had just been coming off homeless in my truck, showing up to France with one black duffel bag on my back and feeling pretty lost. I had a game plan. I showed up with my discharge papers from the United States military, my DD-214, for people that knows what that is. But I needed some time. I showed up, I had running on fumes for cash. So I checked into a hostel and I needed some time. I needed some time not to get my mind right, but to get the drugs out of my system. Because I knew showing up at the French Foreign Legion, it's the military. You're going to get drug tested. So I was like, I need about five days. I know from my experience in my life, I can flush my system completely of everything in about five days. I still had some Adderall left, some Xanax. So of course, being the not intelligent place that I was, I was like, let's just take these. So for the first day, I was still taking Adderall, Xanax, still drinking and burning time. I was in Paris, it was raining. I showed up, it was October 4th, 2019. Four years ago to the day as I'm recording this video. And I'll tell you, four years makes a big difference. When I reflect back on the moment when I got off the plane and it was raining and I'm thinking, man, just reflecting back on my life and what I had lost and where I was at and how I was feeling and what decisions I had made had brought me to the point where I was entering into the French Foreign Legion. Needing to enter into the French Foreign Legion. Higher consciousness was telling me, dude, you have to fucking go in there and fucking use it as a big boy timeout. Sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up, and reflect for five years minimum. That's what, it, that's what was being told to me. And so I adhered, I listened. So I, for the first couple of days, still kind of bouncing around Paris, eating at Burger King and trying to get some runs in. And I ran up to, there's a big church on the hill called the Sacre Coeur, the Sacred Heart. It's a very famous church in Paris. It's way up on the hill, old school, bricks from 1500s. And I said a prayer. I walked into the church and I said a prayer. Now, I don't know about organized religion and all that, but to me, I know that there's a guiding force. There's guiding principles in this world. There's more than meets the eye. At least, that's what I know to be true. And I said my little prayer. I sent it out into the ether, and I said, just watch out for me. And, and I had about two, three, three more days where I just cut everything cold turkey. I mean, I was still sipping on a bottle of vodka the night before I went in. But I was letting it burn off. And I let that reality sit with me for a few days where I was feeling hopeful. I don't like the word hope, but hopeful that this was the right move. I had fear. I had fear of making it in this election, what, what my life would look like. I had fear of not making it. That was terrifying, uh, going into the Legion and being turned away. I had, I, I had nothing. And so I, this is, I needed, I was all in. There was no plan B at this point. So I let the time burn off and I spent about five, six days and I go in on the hunter's full moon. In October 2019. And I take my little train. To the outskirts of Paris. To Fort Nogent. 
and it's still raining. And I was like, I'm going to go in at nighttime, Sunday night, where I had read that it was a little bit more chill, casual, and I'd probably be checking in alone. And I walked up to the gates and I couldn't go in yet. There's a Fort Nogin, it's, it's like a old medieval castle with iron and wood gate built in it. And it's, uh, it's got a power to it. Because you know all the guys for hundreds of years that have been going in there. Or a couple hundred. To this same gate. In this same reality. It's a powerful moment. For anybody that hasn't experienced it, checking into the French Foreign Legion, knowing you're going to be volunteering your passport, your name's going to be stripped away, you're going to be given a fake name, operating under a fake social security number, and you're not going to be contacting anybody. You'll be cut off for a long time, if you're lucky. It's a commitment. I couldn't go in yet. So I went down to this little kebab shop and I got a, a soda and a kebab and I sat there and I had my last meal, my last supper. And then I decided, all right, now it's time. I go arrange my affairs, sent my last text messages for all the administrative stuff to my mom and family. And I didn't even tell anybody else where I was going. So my mom, my dad, my sister, that was it. I didn't want to telegraph this movement. What if I didn't make it? I didn't say any nothing to fucking nobody. If you're serious about some shit, shut the fuck up and just do it. So I sat on a park bench. Right five minute walk from Fort Nogent Gate. And I arranged my paperwork so it was easy just to hand them. I had my passport ready. And I looked up at the Parisian sky and the rain's falling. It's kind of a romantic idea looking back, but I felt like shit. I was going in from the ground up. I knew I was stripped the fuck down. Mentally, emotionally, physically. But I was grateful for the powerful moment. These poignant moments in your life where two roads seriously div divulge they divert in a yellow wood and then I decided I was ready I walked up to the gate looked at it one more time and then fucking knocked on the door a dude opened the gate it was a, a dude from Mexico he was dressed just like this, carrying a FAMAS. And he didn't say a fucking word. He just looked at me. And I had Google translated so, in something in French. Uh, Je suis ici pour la Legion. I'm here for the Legion. Dude just kind of fucking smiled at me. Said, passport. And he said, on left home chapeau, I had a hat on. He's like, take your fucking hat off, idiot. I don't know what I was thinking. And he told me to go fucking sit down. And about, I sat in this like dungeon, this old brick dungeon, and it was just me. Just me and my thoughts in this foreign land, about to embark on what I knew was gonna be an interesting story at least, an interesting journey, but, a, but I knew was a requirement for what I needed at that moment in my life. And I'm grateful I made that decision. I'm grateful for the French Foreign Legion for that. I had no idea how hard it was going to be. That's I think is a, a blessing in this life. Is we can't see the future. If we could see the future. We'd be fucking terrified. And then a corporal chef. Uh, a master corporal. Came in. And he said. He was a Ukrainian. Strong. That Russian accent, speaking French, and he, Vienna C, come here. And I had my bags, and I made that long walk down to the back barracks area. And you're still in this kind of medieval castle setting, open courtyard, stone, 
And I walked through the passageway, walked into the building. He said, put your fucking bag down, get up on the pull-up bar. And that was my first day and week in France. And that was the moment where my French Foreign Legion journey started. Be smart, man. Make those hard decisions and be decisive about them out here.